So welcome back again to this YouTube channel. Uh, today we want to talk about strength of material. And other than that, we shall be drawing a bending moment and shear force diagram of this particular beam. So to get started, uh, you have to draw your free body diagram. So you have that here. Where here is your VA, that's the vertical reaction at point A. And here is your VB. And before you label that, you must have had your A here and B here. To make this one your VA and that your VB. This place is your C and your D. You can label anywhere you like, but this is the way I prefer to label mine. Then, having done that, you are going to take moment either at point A or point B. So let's take moment at point A. Then you have summation of moment at point A to be equal to zero. It means that moment about this particular point A should be equal to zero. And what is moment? Moment is product of force and the distance. So all these forces, you are going to multiply them with the distance which they make away from this point A. Then to start with that, you know this VB will cover a distance of what? 135 meter to get to point A. And uh, this VB is going to move in anti-clockwise direction. Lest I forget, here we can say let's clockwise direction be equal to anti-clockwise direction. When you talk about clockwise, it's as if you are tightening a bolt. Well, that's anti-clockwise, it's as if you are losing the bolt. So let the ones moving this direction be equal to the ones moving in the opposite direction. And if you look at that, you see that VB will move in anti-clockwise direction. And it's going to cover a distance of what? 5 meter. That is 5 multiply by VB is equal to all these ones will move in a clockwise direction to point A. So we have a 20 multiplied by the distance, which is 2. It's 2 meters away from point A. You have to Then plus another one that will move in a clockwise direction, which is 15, multiplied by the distance. It's 4 meters away from point A. So that is 4. Now you have that 5 VB is equal to 20 multiplied by 2 is 40 then plus 15 multiplied by 4 which is uh, 60 so your vb is equal to uh, this is 100 then divide by this 5 so you have that vb is equal to 20 kilonewton at this point we can say let upward force be equal to downward force so upward force equal to downward force what are the upward forces here our va is an upward force our vb is an upward force then is equal to this 20 kilonewton is a downward force and this 15 kilonewton is another downward force we already know our vb to be 20 therefore we have va plus 20 is equal to 20 plus 15 is 35 so our va is equal to 35 minus 20 therefore va is equal to 15 kilonewton alternatively you may decide to take moment at point b in that case you repeat what we did all that time in an opposite direction and then you will have your answer the question says we should draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of this particular beam so don't forget that at this point we are going to take a unique step different from what we already know uh, for those of you who has knowledge of this already we're going to go joint by joint this, this is a joint joint is where two or more things meet so the first joint which is this point a is going to be overlooked so let's go to the next joint that is joint c after joint c we'll go to joint d and uh, by so doing we're going to have a uh, at joint c at joint c if we cut the section here we'll have something like this um, we'll have something like this. So if we cut a section there, there will be a moment. This particular drawing here is a moment. And the moment should move in this direction, in opposite direction to what you have here, so that the beam will be balanced. Let's say here is the moment M alpha, and uh, this particular one should be going down, and that's your V alpha. This M alpha will give you the bending moment expression, whereas the V alpha will give you the shear force expression. And uh, here, under VA, we got 15 kilonewton. The distance from here to here is what you don't know. So you represent it with X. 
causing a session, you don't know exactly what the distance is. Our V alpha, which is the shear force expression, would be equal to what is shear force? Shear force uh, is the algebraic sum of uh, the vertical forces. What are the vertical forces here? If you're thinking on this is a vertical force, and uh, this V alpha is a vertical force, this one is moving is moving up, this one is moving down. So let the ones moving up be equal to the one moving down. In that, we have V alpha is equal to 15. There's no other vertical force here. Then M alpha is the moment. And uh, when you take a moment here, remember, this moment is moving at clockwise direction. And the other force we have here is 15 kN. And if this one is moving at like, clockwise direction, don't forget that you're taking a moment here. So this 15 kN will move in a clockwise direction. And the clockwise equals to clockwise. Therefore, this 15 will cover a distance of what? X to get to this point where you're taking your moment. That is a 15 X. Therefore, your M alpha, which is a moment at point X equals to zero. That is moment at this particular point A. Then will be equal to 15 into zero. That is M alpha when X is equal to zero will be equal to zero. Then M alpha at x equals to 2, that is the moment at this particular point, because this is where x is equals to 2, will be equal to, we have 15 into 2, which will give us a 30 kilonewton meter. Again, we go to the next joint, which is at joint D. I'm going to make this very clear. The understanding of everyone has something like this. Remember, there will be moment there. The moment is in this direction. This is V alpha. This is M alpha. Uh, there's point load here, which is 20 kN at point C. And the distance from here to here is 2 meter. But the distance from here down here is what you don't know. So, the V alpha, remember you have a 15 kN here. The V alpha, which is the shear force, will be equal to, this V alpha is going down, but this 15 kN is going up. So the one that is going down equal to the one that is going up. Therefore, you have 15. This one is going down also. It should have been here. But if it crosses out of equality, it will not subtract. Therefore, our V alpha here is equal to minus 5 kN. Maybe we can just demarcate that and solve for our M alpha. So our M alpha is equal to, remember, we have how many forces we have this and that and we're taking our moment here so m alpha which is moving in a clockwise direction is equal to this particular 15 kilonewton we move in a clockwise direction so we have 15 then what what distance is it going to cover it's going to cover a distance of 2 plus x so that is 2 plus x then this particular 20 kilonewton will move in at clockwise so it should have been here but once it crosses sound of equality it will become minus so we have minus 20 which will cover a distance of what x so m alpha is equal to you open the bracket you have 30 plus 15 x minus 20 x so our m alpha yeah, is equal to 15 x minus 20 x is minus 5 x so we have 20 minus 5 x then our m alpha when x is equal to zero when x is equal to zero that is at this particular point so we have that 30 minus 5 into this is equal to what? The same 30 kN meter. Remember, when you talked about this particular point in the initial expression, you got 30 as well, which is under C. Now you have done it under C again and you have 30. Whenever your answers are not the same, it means that you are wrong somewhere. So you check your steps again and know where you are wrong. Then again, at M alpha is equal to two that is at this point what will the moment be so this is x x is equal to two the moment now will be 30 minus 5 into 2 that is a 30 minus 10 which will give you 20 kilonewton meter then the last but not the least we are going to cut uh, the next um joint remember this is joint d lest i forget this was a mistake it's joint d so I'm going to cut another joint. Let's say our next joint is joint B. So you have something like this. Here is your 15 kilonewton. You have 20 kilonewton here. Um, you have a uh, 15 kilonewton here. There will be moment if you cut the section moving in this direction. 
then this is your m alpha your v alpha so here is your two meter two meter the distance from here to here you don't know you call it x so i'm um, having done that we'll talk about our v alpha what is v alpha the shear force at that particular point here is c and here is d so our v alpha is equal to our arrow is going down therefore when we talk about summation of the vertical forces uh, we have uh, this one is going up so we have 15 this one is going down we have minus 20 this one is going down again we have minus 15 uh, and that will give us uh, that v alpha is equal to minus 20 kilo newton remember your v alpha when you get to the end must give you a value that when you add the value of your support here it will go back to zero our support here is is v if it is vb is uh, 20 kilo newton and you see that our shear force at this particular point now is minus 20 and this minus 20 plus the 20 at our vb will return this uh, particular shear force diagram to zero now what about our m alpha if we take moments here this particular 15 kilo newton will move in a clockwise direction and it will cover a distance of what 2 plus 2 is 4 then plus x then this particular one will move in a clockwise direction that is minus 20 into 2 plus x then minus 15 x we have m alpha is equal to we open the bracket you have 60 plus 15 x minus 40 minus 20 x minus 15 x there you have m alpha m is equal to 20 minus 20 x so your m alpha at x is equal to zero you have that the moment there is equal to 20 kilonewton meter then your m alpha at x is equal to what's the um the span there is one so at x is equal to one you have what 20 minus 20 into one which is equal to zero kilonewton meter so it shows that um, your bending moment diagram must return to zero now let's quickly draw the shear force and the bending moment diagram from what we have calculated so far so we're going to draw it i'm going to be very quick about that so let's say this is our shear force diagram so from our calculations in the first session in the first session uh, we have uh, that a v alpha is equal to 15 kilo newton which is here look at it so we are going to draw a line from this particular point this is where this is, this is a point where we have a v v a so we're going to draw a line to a point where we think is our 15 uh, kilo newton so let's assume here is our 15 kilo newton then this is a point load this is a point load so at that point it's going to maintain that height to the next force that will finally push it down or up depending on the nature of the force so we maintain it to point to point c we maintain that to point c uh, at point c what is our answer there there we have that uh, our v alpha is equal to minus five kilo newton so since it is minus five remember this side is positive down is negative so since it is minus five that means it's going to go down to zero and now go to minus five you're not you're not going to write minus five here you just write five kilo newton for it to be below the line here it means that it's negative so you don't need to write it again now this five kilo newton is going to be maintained till our next vertical force till our next vertical force so we're going to maintain it then in our next vertical force what do we have uh, we have that uh, v alpha where is it where do you calculate it okay it's, it's down here what that v alpha is equal to minus 20 kilo newton so this is going to go down again to minus 20 kilo newton so you're going to go down again it means that this place now is the minus 20 kilo newton so since it is the minus 20 kilo newton uh, let's write 20 kilo newton then it will maintain this minus 20 to the support and once it gets to the support 
remember our support structure which is VB is equal to 20 kN. So minus 20 plus 20 will now return this back to what? Zero. So it will return back to zero. This side is negative, this side is positive. Then you shade it. This place is zero, don't forget. So that's about shear force diagram. What about bending moment diagram? Bending moment diagram, draw your horizontal line first. Bending moment diagram from what we calculated, we said it's always zero at the two end. And that is why during our calculation, I um, mean the first moment we got zero. And also in the calculation, in our last moment, we got zero. So the two ends are zero. Then what about at point C? At point C, our moment is equal to 30 kilonewton meter. So let's assume that this point is 30 kilonewton meter. Then what about the next point at point D? At point D, we have that our moment is equal to, uh, we have a 20 kilonewton meter. That means it's coming down. It's actually coming down. So the 20 is somewhere around here, and finally it goes back to zero. So we're going to connect that using a straight line, because this is a point load. It's a point load, so it must maintain a straight line. Uh, where well, this point is 30 kilonewton meter. Here is 20 kilonewton meter. Here is zero, and uh, we have plus here. So you should. Uh, so this is all about a shear force and bending moment diagram. If you found this video helpful, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and share this video to your friends out there that may be in need of well-explained video like this. Thank you and see you in my next video.